Hello everyone, and welcome to RPGs with Paddy. So, you wanted to get started with Call of Cthulhu? What better place than with the starter set? In this series of videos, I'll introduce the Call of Cthulhu starter set and explain everything so you can get started. Honestly, Chaosium have done the most amazing job with this starter set and also with their RuneQuest starter set, which I'll talk about in another series. It couldn't be easier to get started with Call of Cthulhu. So let's have a look what's in the box. So let's have a look what is included in the starter set. So first we have a small leaflet here, just one page, that explains what's in the box. In particular, there is a well, semi-important notice here. It says, read me first. Basically, it explains that you should read the books in the order presented here. So you should read book one, and then on to book two, and then book three. Don't worry, they're all very clearly labeled. Uh, on the back is a very nice piece of art and talks a little bit about the lore of Chaosium. After that, we get straight into the books. The first one here being Alone Against the Flames. This is a solo adventure which guides you through the rules of Call of Cthulhu. This is a choose your own adventure. And as you go through, little by little, you will learn the rules. I think this is by far the best way to learn how to play a uh, role playing game rather than trying to learn all the rules up front go through this you'll figure it all out ah, the most important ones at least <clears throat> after that we have a very thin volume i'm not sure if you can see that extremely thin only 23 pages these are the introductory rules this is all that you need to play well, the simple version anyway of call of cthulhu so very, very easy to learn the rules. The book two. And finally, we have book three. Uh, this contains three full scenarios. You can see it's a little bit thicker, all right, at how many pages? About 77 pages. This has three scenarios for you. The first one, Paper Chase, is ideally played with you as the keeper or the game master and only one or two other players and you should be able to finish it in one session. The next scenario, Edge of Darkness, uh, is aimed at two to five players and should last somewhere between one and three sessions of play. And finally, Dead Man's Stump suggests two to five players and should be finished in one to two sessions. So I love this system because this solo game teaches you the basic rules so you can learn it for yourself. And then the next scenario that you go into, Paper Chase, is meant for just you as the keeper and only one or two other players. This really eases you into being a keeper. It's actually not how I started, um, although Alone Against the Flames is how I started, but I didn't then play Paper Chase. Uh, but this is a really smooth transition so you can really build up and learn the system very well. Hey, after that, so those are all the key books, we also get a full set of polyhedral dice with an extra D10 with 10s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Um, so we'll talk about those later as they come up. We also get five beautiful pre-generated characters, well, full color as well, really, really nice. Don't worry about all these stats. You'll learn them little by little as it comes through in the Alone Against the Flames scenario. After that, we also get five blank uh, character sheets so you can hand these out to your players or you can use them yourself. Um, oh, Double-sided as well. After that, there are also some beautiful handouts for the scenarios. Uh, I won't show them to you now be, just to avoid any potential spoilers. But rest assured, they are of the highest quality. So that is what is included in the Call of Cthulhu starter set. If you are interested in purchasing it, you can go to the Chaosium website, which I will link below, and you can buy the physical version 
for $24.99 or you can buy the PDF for only $9.99. If you buy the physical version, uh, the PDF will be included for free. If you want to buy the PDF now, but you're not sure about the physical version, buy it from the Chaosium website. If you buy the PDF now, and later you want to buy the physical version, the cost of the PDF will be deducted from the cost of the physical one. So you can buy the PDF now for $10, and then you can buy the physical version for $15. So total of 25. Chaosium is fantastic for that, that they don't worry which order you bought them in. The total cost of the physical version and the PDFs is $25. If you're still a little bit unsure about this, you can actually play a lot of this for free. If you go to the Chaosium website, you can buy, all right, I'm sorry, for free, so you can get it. And this is completely legal. This is from Chaosium themselves. You can get Alone Against the Flames PDF completely for free. So the solo adventure for free. And the quick start rules also for free. Here the prices are listed. These are if you want to buy the physical versions. But the PDFs are completely free. I will leave links to everything down below in the description box. And just in case you're worried, I am not getting paid by Chaosium for any of this. This is purely for your benefit so that you know what you can buy. Okay, so for the rest of the series, I will go through in more detail what is included in the starter set book by book. In the next section, we'll look at Alone Against the Flames. I think the best introduction to any RPG ever, and I hope you agree. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions at all, please, please leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, thank you everyone. See you next video.